you look at that? I said, my friend, what you looking at? I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you could show me out of here. I think she got something in me. So please forgive my rudeness if I'm tripping. So hey everybody, it's Mickey and we are getting out of the kitchen this week and headed to Dallas, Texas for the Go Wild Planner Convention 2024. If you're here looking for some recipes, I will have a ton I am sharing next week. But for today, it's all about fun, all about a girl's weekend away, and my queen, Martha Stewart. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So we have a bunch of things to get done this afternoon. This coming weekend is Go Wild. It's taking place in Dallas, Texas. And if you're unfamiliar, Go Wild is the largest planner um, conference of its kind, I think, pretty much anywhere. And every year it is someplace different. Last year it was in Washington, D.C. And last year was my first year going. It was close enough. I think I'm about like a little less than an hour outside of DC so I was able to drive in and I just had the best time ever. This year is even going to be more special because my daughter Rebecca is meeting me in Dallas and we are going to spend the whole weekend together at Go Wild. So April is a big month in our house. She and I have birthdays in April and we have always tried to do something a little bit special and a couple years ago she moved out of state which makes it a little bit harder and i thought there is no better way for the two of us to spend some time together than at go wild since rebecca and i are going together we decided to do our table make gifts so table make gifts are just little gifts that you exchange on the second day of the conference with all of the people that are sitting at your table and what we decided to do this year was to do kind of like a little matching set um, I found these really cute clear bags on Amazon that we're going to put both of the pieces in. So let me show you what we're going to do. So I found everything for our table made gifts on Amazon. I will leave links to as much as I can down below for you. So the first thing that we have put together is a little pen case. I think these are so adorable. I just love this little zippered pouch. It's clear, it's vinyl. I mean, you can really stuff this pretty well for as small as it is. So on the front, I just cut out with my Cricut, Plan With Love. I have some hearts here. We have a little heart theme going on here. Now inside, I have a pair of these heart-shaped sunglasses. I have like a little rubber duck. I have some candy, a bunch of stickers, some pens, and I think that it came out so really cute. And I just have like this blue shredded paper in there as well because it matches the little journal. I really love this little journal. So I was looking for something like on my Cricut Design Space. Let me take it out of the bag here. I was looking for something on Cricut Design Space like a llama or something that had heart-shaped sunglasses. I really just think that they are so cute. And I came across this little bunny, you know, it's after Easter, but I just thought that he was super cute. This is just a regular old lined journal. I mean, I have a ton of these. I use them for everything. Um, it's a nice one because it has that folder in the back there and then it has the little indicator up top here that you can date it, you know, the day of the week, whatever that you need. So we're going to put the pen case and the journal all together in this really cute little clear gift bag. It's vinyl, has a little snap up here. Found these on Amazon as well. I just have to um, create a little hang tag for it and I'm waiting for some red polka dot ribbon from Amazon to get here so that I can kind of, you know, tie them closed because the journal's a little bit too tall to use to snap, but this is a nice little bag. I mean, you'll be able to reuse this for, you know, a gift or just a really easy way to carry things. So I have to finish those up and then I have to work on my swaps. Now, swaps are just something silly that you hand out to people uh, throughout the weekend that you meet. You're always standing in a little bit of a line. Um, you're at 
maybe like a pop-up shop or at a meet and greet and it's just something fun to exchange it's a nice way to introduce yourself and just to give somebody something you know just to remember you by so my swaps this year, I'm going to do, um, I think I have like 25 of them. I'm just going to go ahead and do more of those little heart-shaped sunglasses. And I'm adding a little rubber duck. I have some stickers there, my, um, my contact card. So I'm gonna be putting those together and just like a little cellophane envelope here. I promised I would show you when I picked up Rebecca's ring from the jeweler. If you remember, this is my original engagement ring that I'm gonna to give to Rebecca for her birthday this year. I had taken it to the jewelers to have it reset and resized and all polished up. They did such a beautiful job. I'm so excited to give it to her as a really special birthday gift this year. I'm also gonna give her an Archer and Olive art journal. She just draws all the time and I thought this would be a nice journal to keep in her backpack and pull out when she had a little bit of free time to draw and kind of distress for the day. So we headed to Dallas early Thursday morning. I met up with Rebecca at the airport and we headed right to the hotel. I have to be honest, I probably didn't take as much video as I probably should have, but we were having so much fun catching up with each other. That first afternoon, we went to the vendor fair and I was so excited to finally meet Tasia from Sweet Kawaii Designs. You guys know that she is my absolute favorite sticker shop of of all time. I was also able to catch up with Bess from Lights Planner Action. I just love her. She reminds me so much of my sister. It was so much fun to meet Kelly from Plan with Kelly. She's an absolute sweetheart. And of course, my best planner pal of all, Carol from Mom's Plans. We had met last year and kept in touch all year long, so I was so excited to see her again. So we were up super early to line up to go into the ballroom for the first day of sessions. The line was not as organized as it was last year and Rebecca and I just kept getting pushed further and further in the back, you know, no biggie. It was the only time during the whole weekend where I came into contact with some ladies that were not exactly as pleasant as I would have hoped for, you know, but it is what it is. Now Rebecca had wanted to sit at a zebra table this year and we we were able to find two open spots very quickly and we grabbed them. We sat at a table with the nicest ladies. I think half of them were nurses and the other half were teachers and they were just as excited to be there as we were. There were such great speakers that morning, but for me, the main event that first day was my queen, Martha Stewart. Now, Martha and I go way back. So in the 90s, I had just left my corporate marketing job to stay home with my son, a very unpopular decision at the time. It was then that I had discovered Martha and she had turned homemaking into an art form. She was the originator of creating a life that you love. She so inspired me to create a home for my family that was beautiful and fill it with good food, the people that I loved, and to just celebrate the everyday and make it special. It has been a lesson that has followed me the entirety of my married life and has been a true gift for my family, and I just so admire her. Martha was really funny and interesting to listen to. She has such confidence and poise, and there is just no one quite like her. So after sessions that day, Rebecca and I went to have lunch in the restaurant at the hotel, and Martha was having lunch maybe like six feet away from us. It was so fun to be just in the same room with her. So as she was finishing up and collecting her things to go, she caught my eye, and I took the opportunity to say, Goodbye, Martha. I love you. And she smiled at me and waved, which just made my whole trip worthwhile.
That night we had the planter crop, which was so much fun. We got even more pens from Zebra and my buddy Bess from Lights Planner Action did a great memory keeping workshop. It was all just so awesome. The second day of sessions was great. Frank Warren was there. He is the Post Secrets author and it's just always so inspiring to hear him speak. We had workshops from Simply Gilded and Aaron Condren and one of my favorite speakers, V from Under the Desk news on TikTok. It was just a really, really fun day. That night, of course, was the Plan Jamma, the big finale for the awesome weekend. Go Wild is always such an incredible experience. I'm always glad that I went, and it could not have been better having my Rebecca there with me and being in the same room as Martha Stewart. While we were in town, we made it a point to get to Dealey Plaza and the spot where JFK was assassinated. We visited the school book depository building, the memorial that's there, and we also got to see the giant eyeball. Our time in Dallas went by so, so fast. We are home now. We had a great time. I always love being with my girl and I couldn't think of a better way to spend our birthday weekend. I thought I would take a couple minutes and show you what we were given at our zebra table on that first day. So the first pack is this five count of mild liners. They are those like gentle color highlighters. Um, there's like a peachy color, yellow, blue, purple, and pink. This set I know is going right in my pen case to carry around with me. I am like a neutral highlighter kind of person, but I really like to use these because like within my own calendar, colors like this really stand out to me. So they kind of catch my attention and kind of help me for, you know, remember what I have going on in that day. Now, the one that I'm really excited about is this 24 count of colored pencils. I don't know if this is a new collection or not. I have never seen it before. Um, so I was really excited to open this up and you know, test them out. You can see all the beautiful colors that they have here. And I know this is something Rebecca was excited about too because she does a lot of charting and diagrams in her notes for school. And something like this will really, really help her out a lot. She's an artist at heart. So she does a lot of, you know, shading and coloring in. So I know this will really come in handy for her too. They also included this set of ballpoint pens, which I haven't used a ballpoint pen in a long time, but I am looking forward to trying these out because I like a thicker ink when I write. Um, I have always put a lot of pressure on my pens. I have ever since I was, you know, a little kid when I was first learning. And I have found that if I use anything below like a 0.5, I can end up tearing my page. <laughs> I guess I'm a little bit of an aggressive writer. So, so these have a 1.0, so I think this is going to be really fun to try out. They also included this fine tip brush marker, which I'm really looking forward to trying out. I have been practicing my um, brush lettering. It has been really tough for me. And I think it's because, you know, when I learned cursive back in the you know stone age, I learned from nuns and they were very exacting as to how you were to form every letter. And you know, that is like really deep set in my brain. So trying to retrain myself with um, you know, brush lettering techniques has proven to be a little challenging. So I'll have another really pretty pen to, you know, to practice with. So they also included a whole set of the Sriracha Dry No Smear Gel Retractable Pens, which I love these. Now these are in a 0.5, I think. Let me look. Oh no, they're 0.7. That's awesome because I have these um, currently in I think a 0.5 and I love those. So like I said, I really do like a thicker ink and I can't wait to try these out. And then they also included, and they also included this collection of mild liners and click art pens and some really vibrant colors that I really don't think that I have. And I have a pretty large collection of pens at this point. So I'm excited to open these up. 
They also, um, we have just an assortment of loose pens that we got at Go Wild. So many different colors and kinds. I even have um, one of their lead pencils, which I love lead pencils. They're really my favorite thing to write with. I feel like I have more control over a a lead pencil than I do a pen, but there's some mild liners in here. There's some brush tip pens. There's some new colors that I really love a lot. And then we were gifted this adorable little pen case. It's kind of like, you know, the mild liner. And let me show you what's inside. It's a whole new type of marker. So in our little pencil case here were six of their brand new just coming out. I think they were introduced at Wild. These really cool markers. They are called Mild Liner Mixes. And each of these are a mixture of two different colors. Like this one is my favorite. It's kind of like a pinky and yellow. There's purple and pink, green and purple. This one is a peachy and a yellow. This one is an orange and purple. They are so cool. So I wrote a little bit. I don't know if my camera is gonna be able to pick this up, but the, yeah, if you look really closely, you can see two totally different colors here as you write out your words. And it has a really unique tip on it. I don't think my camera will be able to focus on it. I will try to insert some pictures in here for you so you can see. I just love the results with writing with these. I thought they were so cool. Zebra was very excited to introduce them all to us. And I mean, come on, this cute little pencil case will be just so cute on my desk. I just love it. One of the things that Go Wild is famous for are for merchandise drops in your room while you're out. So sometimes you would come in um, from just walking around or going to a session and there will be merchandise left in your room. And the first night we were there, um, we got this beautiful box from Kelva Plan. And on the inside is one of her, and I guess it's like a sample of her new planner that is coming out. I really have to read up and see exactly when it's going to be available, but it is like a self-care planner, which I thought was so cool. So inside here, of course, she has this really cute little postcard. I'm welcoming everybody. You have some really great stickers. There's several sticker sheets in here. Um, to use within this little planner. Such really nice things on here. It's like wherever you are, be all there. Mental health matters, self-care, strive for progress, not perfection. I just love the message in this. She also included a little pen so that you can work in your planner. And then the planner itself is just such a great idea. It's like daily self-care. Um, you know, how do you feel that day? Check-ins during the day, the most rewarding interaction you had that day, you know, just things that you're grateful for. I just think this is such a great idea for a journal. I think it's a great reminder, especially as women and moms, that we need to, at times, take a few minutes out of our day and put ourselves first. I know that was always a very difficult thing for me to do when my kids were really young. If self-care is something that is challenging for you, having a journal like this is such a great reminder. So that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this recap of our weekend in Dallas. If you were at Go Wild, let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. I'll be back next week with more delicious recipes from the kitchen. Until then, join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.